Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T, putting the G in Geek, coming to you with another episode of On The Hunt. You know, the weekly web series where I kind of tell you guys the hot books that I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to start this video like I start all the videos by saying this isn't financial advice, this isn't investment advice, so please don't spend your rent money or any money that you should be spending on bills on this kind of stuff. Uh, this is just for fun. This is just trying to get some of the hot books at cover price, so... You know how it goes. Um, also, if you could share information with each other, share information with me. I mean, I want to know what you guys are getting. I might want to get it. The week is young. The day is young. It's the best day of the week. Comic day. So let's get right to it. Um, as usual, I'm going to start out with Marvel. And the first book I'm going to pick up from Marvel is Amazing Spider-Man number 796. Uh, the Red Goblin's been a really hot character lately. And this book is already sold out. Um, I mean, is this his for full first appearance, though? I'm hurry I'm already hearing rumors that it's going to be in 797. It isn't even going to be this issue. Um, we might still get a cameo or something at the end or something like that. But despite that, this is already selling for $20. So, I mean, if you're a flip type guy, I would do that quickly before people realize that this might not be his for first full. Um, the Comics Exposure Store variant also, I think it has him on the cover. Uh, the Red Goblin, so, I mean, if you wanted to pick that up, I think that would be considered his first cover appearance. The only reason why I didn't mention it is because I usually don't mention store exclusives. I kind of try to keep this more to an LCS thing. I don't want you guys to have to go online to get these books and stuff like that. I want you to have a chance to grab them off the shelf, but since it is and might be his first cover appearance, I did feel like it was something that I should mention and was worth noting. So, um, and with that, do you guys think that cover appearances should be considered first? It's like that, uh, Deadpool Secret Secret Wars, the first Gwenom, or Gwenpool? Um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I really consider that the first. I'd prefer to see some stuff inside it, but I don't know. Uh, the next book I'm gonna pick up is Avengers number 681. This is continuing with the No Surrender storyline, and this week answers the question, who is Voyager? So, I don't know if the reveal of that identity might be worth something or something big. That might be something good to pick up. Uh, it could garner some interest, so I'd probably grab that. And that's about it for key events from Marvel this week. So, I'd move on to some covers. I'm probably going to try to pick up the Doctor Strange Damnation number one. It's a 1 to 50 Noto cover. Um, I think this is only hot because of Cates. I mean, it's Cates has been killing it lately, and he's on this Doctor Strange. Um, although I do love Noto, I mean, I would probably try to stick to this and only really grab it if it was cheap, which I don't have high hopes for, unfortunately, because, I mean, it's a 1 to 50, right? So, and when I say cheap, I'm talking like 10 or under. I'm not really trying to pay a lot for this. I don't really think there's anything too significant, and as nice as it is, I don't love it. So, um, the next book I'm going to look for is Infinity Countdown Prime number one. Uh, this is the Addy Granov Logan cover. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like this, you know what I mean? I would only get it again if it was extremely cheap, um, only because I do collect the Granovs, so you know, I would want to keep go keep it going with, with the Granovs there and just keep my collection as complete as possible, but I'm not even really trying to pay 20 for this or anything like that. I mean like 8 or under because I just, again, I don't love it. It's unfortunate, usually with Addy Granov, you know, I'm always loving it, so it's unfortunate. Um, the next book I'm going to pick up is The Mighty Thor, number 704. This is the Kirkham B cover. Um, Hulk looks super ripped in this cover. Uh, I find his face could be a little drawn a little bit better, but hey, that's just a small quip. Uh, I might get one if I see it for cover price, seeing as it's a cover B. I do like what Kirkham is doing with the Hulk in this. Um, and the last book I would pick up from Marvel is Venom, number 6... Uh, 162. This is the Dave Johnson Poison X variant. Um, I don't know, maybe because of that last week hands poison variant, this one's already seeing sales, pre-sales of $50. I really don't know why. I don't think it's that nice. Um, if I found it cheap, maybe I would get it to flip it, but since I don't do that, I'm just giving that information for the people who like to do that. Um, I don't like to really chase that kind of stuff too much. I like books that are hot for a little bit of a better reason or I love it but um yeah that book I don't know I don't know do you, I don't know I don't think it's good enough personally but again I'm it had to be mentioned that going at 50 uh, I don't see that lasting um, next I would move on to DC 
The first book I'm going to pick up from DC is Batman number 41. Uh, Janin returns on the art in this one, and I always really like that. And the Poison Ivy stories are always cool. It's another Poison Ivy issue. I really like Poison Ivy. I like what the artists usually do with her and stuff like that. I like how her, her, her powers and what it does to Batman and stuff like that. It's usually an interesting read. Um, next, I would pick up Deathbed number one. I just lump Vertigo into DC. Uh, this is a new Vertigo series that, fe that features Riley Rossmo art. Uh, being as I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and Riley is too, I've seen him around quite a bit, I've chatted with him quite a bit, so I am a fan of his stuff, you know, he's given me a lot of sketches and stuff like that, um, signed a lot of my books, and I do like that kind of scratchier, loose art, like, um, so, yeah, I'll probably check that out, um, and then I would move on to some covers, not much going on in DC as well. I would grab Aquaman number 33, the Middleton cover B. Uh, I find Middleton is killing these cover Bs. I really like the looks, especially the Aquaman. He's doing good stuff with the with the hair and stuff like that. Um, one of my friends, she she calls stuff like this dreamy hair Aquaman. And uh, personally, I think this is as dreamy hair as it gets. So I don't know. I really like the Middleton cover. I'm going to pick that up for sure. Um, Batman number 41, Co the Copial B cover. Uh, he's been doing really good on these Batman covers. I really like it. I'm loving this Poison Ivy one, so that's going to be a for sure pickup for me. Um, Harley Quinn number... Th this is like the, the week of the DC covers, man. DC came out with some, was really killing it with the covers this week. Um, Harley Quinn number 38, the Cho cover B. Um, I, not only do I always collect the Cho covers, but I do actually like this one. Uh, I find her outfit's really cool, it's skimpy, it looks like she's got some thigh-high boots going on or something like that, I don't know, it's cool. Um, next I would move on to Justice League number 39, the J.G. Jones cover B. Um, wow, this is a really nice cover and let's face it man, this cover actually makes me think Cyborg is cool. I mean, I, that's, I, if you like Cyborg or you're a fan of him, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Cyborg. I don't really like him. But dang, he looks kind of neat in this cover, man. I would actually want to pick it up and see what he's doing. Um, and lastly, from DC, I would pick up Super Sons number 13, the Dustin Nugent cover. It's a B cover. Um, it's a really nice Damien cover, especially if you're a fan of Damien. And uh, he looks really nice and dark. So, and, you know, I don't know. Might be cool. Uh, I read somewhere briefly that this might be the last issue. I don't know. I don't know where I read that. That was something I scrolled by quickly, so don't take that in stone. But if so, this could be a last issue to series. Maybe worth grabbing cover A. I d again, that is, I read that briefly. I really should have researched that a little more before I said that. But it's just something that I just saw quickly. Um, hit The next I would move on to Image. And the first book I would pick up from, I'm going to pick up from Image is Hit Girl number one. Uh, I like Hit Girl. I do like these Miller series. I find that they're pretty raw inside. Uh, this is her first ongoing series. I don't expect much movement. I am with most other people in thinking that there's just way too many covers. So I'll just pick up a cover A where she's fingering the camera. It's, oh, it's good enough. Um, the next book I'm going to pick up is Ice Cream Man number two, if I see this around. Uh, last month's Ice Cream Man was a spec winner, you know, a lot of people didn't really believe in it, and, you know, I'm still a little weary of it, I don't know where it's really going, but, I mean, number twos have lower print runs than number ones, and number one is still going for 10 plus, so, might as well pick up a number two and see what that does. Um, that's about it from Image, I'm gonna move on to Dynamite next, and the first book I'm gonna pick up is Pumpkinhead number one. Um, it's a new series from Cullen Bunn. I always like Cullen Bunn. It looks horror-esque. I mean, Pumpkinhead, and it's almost sold out. So, you know me, I always like my horror picks. Uh, next, I would move on to Heavy Metal Magazine. I'm going to pick up Tarna, number one. Uh, even Cover A. This is a cool Alex Ross cover, and um, I would probably pick up Cover B as well. Um, I do like Alex Ross and stuff like that. Uh, this is a classic heavy metal story and character from the 80s. I guess it's pretty big and famous, although I'm not really 100% familiar um, of the material. Um, but again, both covers, A and B, are awesome. So I'll probably pick up both of those if I see it. Uh, next, from Scout Comics. Um, the first book I'm going to pick up is called Shiver Bureau, number one. Uh, it looks like it could be interesting. I would give it a skim. Uh, after Stabity Bunny, people are kind of giving this book a little bit of a look. So, I mean, we could be talking about something that's only happening because Stabity Bunny is big. So, 
If you look through the book and you don't like it, I don't know. I don't expect a huge movement or anything for this. Probably not even good. I don't know. Maybe just check it out. Uh, lastly, I'm just going to go on, like, I, that's it for the books, but I'm just going to go on to one little extra piece of knowledge. I guess Disney will be doing an animated film for Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. So, uh, Devil, e even though Devil Dinosaur is an older character, he first appeared in uh, the 1978 book Devil Dinosaur, number one. Um, Moon Girl is a fairly newer character, and she first appeared in 2015's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, number one. So... I mean, those books might be cheap before that news comes out. You might want to look for the 1 to 25 variant. That's supposed to be going for big money right now, as, you know, all the people who've heard that news that this character is coming to that Disney stuff, so that book's kind of shooting up. Um, I've still seen some of the hip-hop variants for number one out there, like, pretty cheap, and I've seen some pretty cheap number ones, so... I don't know, if the animated series takes off and becomes something, you never know, right? They could do movies of it, they could do anything, so keep an eye out for those for cheap. That's pretty... That's a pretty just, you know, recently announced thing. So you may want to keep an eye out for those. Well, guys, that's going to do it for another episode of On The Hunt. Thanks for joining me. You know, as always, if you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. Make sure you check out our other content. Make sure you check out SaddleCityComics.com. Uh, time is ticking, so I got to get my butt out there, try to have, get some of these books. Hopefully you guys have good luck getting these books, too. See you next week. Peace.